Hi, my name is Marilyn, and for this video, I'm going to be recreating the makeup from Stupid Love by Lady Gaga. I didn't include the little paper pieces. Instead, I went ahead and took more of like a concert or glam makeup route to it. So it's actually really simple except for the little heart on my head, which I did with just strictly makeup. I really tried my best, so please leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel as well. Let's get started. I've already prepped for this look starting with my base and all of my contour, blush, and highlight. Now for brows, I'm using the Norvina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills with the shade Wild Child. I'm using this to create a pale pink metallic eyebrow. The metallic sheen of these shimmery colors are amazing and so it doesn't need that much help but since this look is really shiny, I'm using a wet brush to really pack on this color. Now with the House Labs Punk Eyeliner, I'm going to be lining underneath my eyebrow. This product dries really fast, so I want to make sure to work it into my eyebrow and flick it upwards as soon as possible. The most important step at this point is to blend the eyebrows out, so even if it gets a little messy, it's alright because next I'm going in to clean up the brow with concealer. The line underneath this eyebrow is really important, especially with the shape of my eyebrows, since I have the tail shaved off. Now I'm taking this white color from the Anastasia Riviera palette called Sales and using this all over the inner corners of my eye. Then with the shade Bahamas, I'm going to be placing this on my eyelid, throughout the crease, and up past my brow bone. The eyeshadow for this look is super simple. It's just literally these two colors, and now I'm gonna go in with that same punk eyeliner and create a winged eyeliner shape. I love the actual formula of this product, but I'm still getting used to the felt tip. I've never really used them that much because my personal preference is a brush tip, and in order to get that perfect fine wing tip, I'm going to switch over to the NYX Epic Ink Liner, just because it's easier for me. For the bottom lash line, I'm first going in with the shade Bahamas and blowing that out under the eye. My eyes have been super watery lately, so my favorite thing to do when I get that way is to go under the eye with just an eye pencil that's super creamy, just in case I need to touch it up. And now I'm just going back into the Norvina palette and picking out the shade Rose Gold. I'm using this to recreate the little paper details that Gaga has in her inner corner and under her eyes. I'm applying this using a large smudging brush that's slightly damp. I wouldn't normally pair a neon with a rose gold, but it actually ends up coming out to look really interesting and editorial. If this was all in like black, it would look super gothy. I love the shapes. And once I'm satisfied with the shapes, I'm going in with a finer detail brush to really clean up my edges. And for the lips, I'm going to be adding the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Lipstick in the shade Oh My Dolly. This makeup is completely wearable just as it is, but I'm not done. Next, I'm going to be drawing on the heart on my forehead, 
Starting with a white concealer, I only have this Morphe one, so that's what I'm going to use. There's a lot of details in this emblem, so I'm going to use a water-based eyeliner as well as my Epic Ink eyeliner. Now to set that with the perfect pastel pink eyeshadow, I'm using this one from the Creepy Cute palette by Shroud Cosmetics. It's called Strawberry Milk. I'm applying this shadow using a large fluffy brush. Now, I'm not the best at drawing things on my face. The last time I tried this, it didn't turn out the best. So, sometimes with being an artist, one of the most important things is your tools. For this look, I'm going to be mostly relying on the shapes of my eyeshadow brushes to do the work for me because it's so intricate and I'm scared to mess it up. So I will be bold with my brush choices. To get to the edges of the circle, I'm using a flat, thin eyeshadow brush by Wet n Wild. This one has almost a lip brush shape to it that makes it perfect for packing on the color. I spent a lot of time really packing on color, but I still was seeing that white come through. So to really finish off the edge, I'm going around the circle with my concealer shade. The shape is going to be really important to the other details that are going inside of it, so that's why I'm spending so much time on it. It will be worth it in the end. Now with my brush tip liner, I'm creating a circle inside of the edges of my pink circle. The best way for me to achieve this was to sketch inside the circle shape as a guideline And then I'm going back in to thicken everything up and make sure that it's as even as possible. Once that's complete, for the center heart design, I'm using my water activated paint and a tiny lip brush. Then for the bottom of the heart, I'm going to find my finest angled eyeliner brush to create the little V. And for the little graphics around the heart, I'm going back in with my Epic Ink Eyeliner. There's a little widow's peak looking thing at the top and then a shape kind of like a Y hugging the outsides of the heart. The shapes came out pretty good but it was lacking dimension so I'm going in with the Maron Silver Metallic Powder and their mixing medium to add some fake highlighter spots. I didn't want them to look like big blobs, so I'm going in one last time to sharpen up those highlights with my black eyeliner. And this is the completed look! Thank you so much for watching my video recreating the Stupid Love makeup from Lady Gaga's music video. If you liked this look, please make sure to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel as well. For photographs of this look, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Marilyn Mugbeat. I'll see you next time. Bye!